station and we're heading to meet our BNB host now because he's gonna take us to the BNB because it's very far away it's kind of like in the middle of like the wilderness so we can't really get there ourselves the most exciting thing for me is that we have a kotatsu and a kotatsu in the winter time is the best thing ever we're gonna be sleeping on um, futons today they look very comfortable and very warm out there you can't see it right now but I think there's a lake anyway we'll check it out tomorrow morning but I'm so excited about the kotatsu wait I just realized there's a light here I'm gonna turn it on oh oh wow it's so pretty so we have a little seating area outside that's gonna be so beautiful tomorrow morning the toilet looks like it's from outer what do you mean is this the toilet Oh, that's a very um, smooth looking toilet. I love the bathroom. Look how clean it is. This is so unbelievably clean. I'm shook, absolutely shook. We get some toiletries. And last time I had these toiletries was actually in Hakone. And this is a really, really nice brand. I really like it. It doesn't damage my hair. It's very gentle and smells good. And we also have some liquid cleansing stuff for the face Ooh. this is all so thoughtful and we have toothbrushes too this place is beautiful oh the katatsu is warming up i'm just sitting underneath this beautiful katatsu and it's starting to warm up so we just checked into this b and b and it has absolutely everything that we need including a beautiful tatami floor and a katatsu and they have green teas and coffees and bottles of water and every toiletry imaginable and I'm having my green tea now and later on I'm gonna eat this delicious mochi snack so I'm really really impressed so far with the amount of amenities that the owner has provided they also have yukatas and they have yukata jackets for keeping warmer in the winter time and I cannot wait to see what the view is like outside tomorrow morning I love the tatami flooring, it's so nice. The uh, b, b owner actually told us that recently there was a bear sighting in the area. It was only a baby bear and the bear went back up into the mountains. We kind of are on the ground floor but there's a drop off where the lake is. But I mean, Akuma could easily get in to our balcony, right? You're jumping every time you hear a noise, you're like, what's that? Hmm. It's really good, even though I left the tea bag in, it doesn't taste strong or bitter. It just tastes nice and refreshing. I recommend this. This is tasty. So this is the restaurant that we're going to go to today. It's called Divine. The reason we're here is because, first of all, apparently this place does very good vegan and vegetarian food. And secondly, in Nico, there aren't that many restaurants that are open late. So to have something like this is really very, very good. This is a tofu donduri bowl with a special peanut sauce. So there's rice at the bottom and lots of Japanese vegetables on top. It's delicious. It's really crispy on the outside but super soft on the inside. So we have finished our food. It was delicious. We're just going to head to a Lawson's now to get some snacks for tonight. This is a device to grab crisps out of your bag. Is this really necessary? Do I carry this with me whenever I need a snack? It's got a latch to pin to me. To pin to me, so <laughs> I love crisps so much. I carry a device on my shirt with me every day. Just getting some provisions for tonight. Let's go. Are they all individually wrapped? Mm-hmm. Why? <laughs> Why can't it just be a box of chocolates? Why do you need to wrap every single one separately? They're not even different flavors, are they? No. Oh, Japan. Is this a fork for ants? Yes. They're playing first 48 hours on Japanese TV. Wow. 
Oh, it is cold outside. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Whoa. Look how nice it looks. Oh, that's hot, Oh, This is a feast. Good morning, everybody. We're just about to have our delicious traditional Japanese breakfast. Mine is the vegetarian option. The owners of this B&B were very kind enough to make everything vegetarian for me, while John has the non-vegetarian option. And I think the only difference between you and me is that you might have some dashi in yours and then you have some fish and then I have no dashi in mine. I've got kombu dashi. I love the pickle to kimono because I think to make these pickles they use a special cucumber that has very very thin skin so it doesn't remain in the pickling broth for long. It only needs like 24 hours to get pickled so it's got, it has like a very lightly pickled taste and I really like this. And here we have some kabocha and nasu. And I feel like no Japanese meal will be complete without kabocha. It's called koji. Koji. Mm. Koji Ooh. is uh, something we can produce when we make a sake. I really, really like this soup. I actually had something quite similar to this in Kyoto before. It's got a kombu stock and also um, some kind of a fermented byproduct of sake production. But it's fully vegetarian. It's very delicious. It has a very mild flavor, but it's just comforting. It's a comforting taste. In here, I think you have some greens, some tofu, some daikon. So it's just a mix of winter vegetables in a really tasty broth. Mm. This looks like persimmon to me. So I think that might be it because right now in Japan, it is in season. This looks like a like a Japanese pear to me. It is, it's a Japanese pear. In the UK, I used to get them all the time from Marks and Spencers. Um, they have much lighter taste and they're not as dense. So they're a very light and refreshing snack. We're also drinking some coffee because it's very, very early in the morning. So we need to wake up and Hoji Cha doesn't really wake me up. Look at these cups though, aren't they beautiful? John, I just noticed something. Look up there. It's a little koala bear and it says Australia on it. Our b, &B host actually lived in Australia for some time and that's why his English is so amazingly good. And he's got a little koala bear up there and it says Australia on it. I think that's paying homage to his time in Australia. Finally, the sun has come out. The day can actually start now because before it was very dark. There's a lot of hills next to us, so we couldn't really see the sun, but now it's out and it feels like proper morning. dark outside we couldn't see anything we just assumed there was a little drop off with a tiny little stream outside we didn't actually think it would be this much nature I can only imagine what this would be like during the spring or early autumn I am so happy that we chose to stay here instead of a hotel closer to Nikko station or Tobu Nikko station um, because we wouldn't have got to experience this kind of natural scenery and this is like rough natural scenery. This isn't pristine and looked after. This feels very much like nature intended it to be. Some people online have actually said that sometimes you can see some deer, but 
I can't see any deer right now. It might be a little too cold for them. I don't blame them, it is very cold. I would really love to come here when it's snowing because when all of this is covered in snow, it would be so beautiful, so, so beautiful. And as far as I know, Nico does get snow. So we are back in our room now and we have up until 9.30 to relax and just enjoy the stream that's outside. Um, we decided to leave at 9.30 today to kind of maximize our time in Nikko, like looking at all the sites and all the shrines and temples. Goodbye beautiful room. Goodbye beautiful Kotatsu. And these futons were also unbelievably comfortable, they were very very soft and just warm and nice. looking for deer but we couldn't find any deer. So this is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to leave me a like and subscribe and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.